so hello guys how you are doing and in this video i am going to do a multitasking performance test on my iphone 5s which is a later 2013 phone so multitasking is a process by which the application is remain in the background and we want to access it as quickly as we want so with this multitasking help the ram can be needed as much as we can so the multitasking can be smoother and smarter as the mobile gets greater and greater so in this video i am going to testing out uh, Will the iPhone 5s can perform the multitasking performance tests in our needs or not? So stay tuned and without wasting time, let's get started. So guys, this will be a simple test and I have to open all the uh, system based application and the third appli application at the same time and uh, then I want to test it on the background and I will see how much number of application can be refreshed on the iPhone 5s and this is the iOS 11 running on the, the iPhone 5s and this is the last OS of iPhone 5s so without wasting time let's start the video so the first application I am going to run is the phone dialer 1 2 3 go phone dialer messages settings calendar photos so maps which will you do for tracking and uh, navigations clock so let's check out weather so notes which i don't have it and uh, play store oh sorry the app store and uh, yes we have to use it all the day so i have to go to today and see it so now let's check out the calculator which will do for calculating our maths and uh, now let's go nothing here videos so now go through the third party application so some games mario run so this is the game i run the daily so you can uh, depend on your own game but uh, this game i can run throughout the day so let's check out the game so the game is loading so the game has been loading loading or i would say loaded so apple is the beast in their multitasking performance test because uh, apple is the first ever phone which have the greater multi score test on the geekbench 4 so let's see retry so i don't have connection here and let's start twitter so the twitter is going and uh, yes iphone 5s is a slower device and this is the last os version of iphone 5s which is called the ios 11 pinball now let's check out the instagram so instagram is loading Instagram has been loaded now check out the shopping uh, apps so the first app is called Draws Draws.pk the number one Pakistan website so the, the uh, Draws is loading and uh, you can see that uh, it's taking some time Aliexpress so this is second shopping website and uh, the third is Amazon and uh, yes amazon has been loaded also so let's see still loading so we have we have to wait for full loaded and the last and the least ebay and uh, it's taking some time because i have uh, opened a lot of apps uh, in the background and i want to see how much application is refreshed and how much uh, application cannot be reset so loaded and the last last music and uh, here we go this is the application i have uh, opened and uh, now i want to test uh, how much application is refreshed and how much application is still in the memory so the first application is the phone dialer so the phone dialer is refreshed now let's check out the messages again refresh now check out uh, setting again refresh so yes uh, it's taking refresh 
so i don't think that my per performance on the iphone 5 because it's a, a older mobile so you can see that again refresh so a lot much refresh again refresh so you can see so maps again refresh so very clicky button here so clock so here you can see that in, in, in the memory so weather so you can see that it's in the memory because it's having some animation because you can see that it's in the memory so again application notes again in the memory so not try app store again the memory so you can see that first four application is not in the memory it's having refresh but uh, another application which i am trying to open is uh, in the memory so now calculator so you can see that again in the memory so now videos again in the memory so guys i think the iphone 5s can handle the application in the memory margo run so you can see that uh, i am having error when i launch the game so the error is still remain in the memory so yes the twitter so you can see that again in the memory i can have a post and everything i can quickly here so the next application is called pinout so yes you can see that it's having in the memory so guys i have tried different application uh, system based application third party application games and uh, shopping apps so you can see that it's are in the memory as i don't think that uh, the iphone 5s can handle it but you can see that uh, it's having on in the memory so my instagram page is also in my memory follow me on instagram techinger uh, one and uh, you can uh, have the link in the description of this video so the next application is draz.pk so here is refresh on the shopping website draz.pk so let's try the another application called uh, aliexpress so aliexpress is in a uh, memory and ad is going so let's block the ad and uh, the second last website is uh, app amazon again in the memory and the last and the least ebay so you can see that it's having a full performance mode in the multitasking performance test so you can see that uh, from around about six application out of 20 application you can see that 14 application are in the memory and six application is refreshed so not much very bad performance of iphone 5s but you can see that it's is a older device and the os is the last os the os can also be slowing down the iphone 5s but it can handle the multitasking performance test uh, as better as i want so you can have it in 2017 or in 2018 have not a single problem of multitasking and it can handle your daily task easily the battery timing is great on the iphone 5s and guys if you like this video don't forget to hit the like button let me know your thoughts of the multitasking performance test on the iphone 5s uh, in the comment section and i will catch up in the next video till then peace